Are you prepared to handle rejection because of your faith? This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Charles Luanga, born in 1860, was a Ugandan convert to the Catholic Church. He's a member of the Buganda tribe and served as Chief of the Royal Pages and later Mayor Domo in the court of King Mwanga II of Buganda. To resist a Christian worldview that undermined the authority of his office, King Mwanga II insisted that Christian converts abandon their new faith. In 1886, the king ordered the massacre of Christian missionaries, including Bishop James Hannington, who was the leader of the Anglican community. Joseph Mukasa Balikudembe, the Catholic servant of the court and a lay catechist, blamed the king for the killings. And the king did not like what Joseph said and had Joseph beheaded. <laughs> the king appointed Charles Luanga to take Joseph's place. Charles protected young men from the king's immoral advances. Charles secretly baptized the young men who at that time were still only catechumens. The king had everyone interrogated and asked them to renounce Christianity. Led by Charles Luanga, the young men declared their fidelity to their religion, upon which the king condemned them to death. The guardian of the sacred flame separated Charles from the others for private execution. As the flames burned him, Charles said to the guardian, It is as if you are pouring water on me. Please repent and become a Christian like me. Charles Luanga's life and martyrdom are compelling examples of faithfulness, courage, and moral integrity in the face of rejection. His trials and rejection became a cornerstone and a legacy that continues to inspire Christians worldwide to stay faithful and courageous despite trials and denunciation. Today's gospel talks about you know, Jesus sharing a parable about a vineyard owner who leased his land to some tenants. When the vineyard owner sent his son to collect from the tenants, they seized the son and killed him. Jesus asked, What will the owner do? Jesus went on to say, The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The chief priests, you know, the scribes, and the elders knew that Jesus was talking about them. They wanted to arrest Jesus, but feared the crowd. As we navigate our own lives, you know, striving to follow the Lord's path, you know, we may often feel like the rejected stone. You know, our gospel values, you know, cherished and held dear, may not be shared by many, leading to demoralization and discouragement. However, today's gospel reminds us of our call to remain faithful to the Lord, even in the face of such challenges. You know, the, the image of the rejected stone becoming the cornerstone is a testament to the Lord's power to work through our difficult experiences if only we stay faithful and seek refuge in Him, you know, as expressed in today's responsorial psalm. In our prayer time today, let's reflect on the times we have been rejected because of our faith. You know, let us draw inspiration from knowing that God will see us through despite those rejections. Today's gospel encourages us to remain steadfast and seek God's guidance in times of trials and difficult situations, having faith that God will see us through in the end. Let us pray.
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, source of all good things, thanks for today's Gospel reading. In moments of rejection and difficulty, grant us the, the strength to, to remain steadfast in our faith. Help us to, to trust in your plan and to remember that, like the stone rejected by the builders, we too can find our place and purpose through your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless you and your families, our Catholic faith, and couples for Christ.